In the impact segment tonight, fake news in the mainstream media. Earlier today, the Associated Press reported that the Trump administration was considering mobilizing the National Guard to round up illegal immigrants in many states. The White House fiercely denied the report, stating it was 100 percent not true and came from an early draft memo never seriously considered. Despite that, immigration activists are directing their anger at recent ICE raids across the country, claiming that illegal immigrants without criminal records are also being targeted. Joining us now with a reaction from Washington, Mark Krikorian from the Center for Immigration Studies and from Salt Lake City, Ali Narani, author of the forthcoming book, There Goes the Neighborhood. So, Mark, was this another case of fake news? Because to me, on the surface, it looks like the AP comes out with this splashy headline. Then the White House Press Secretary Spicer denies it. Is there any truth to this, mobilizing the National Guard to undertake raids? No, this was, as I understand it, it was a discussion memo at the staff level offering possibilities, and it didn't even mention raids. What it was was uh, suggesting the possibility of giving an existing kind of law enforcement authority, it's called 287G authority, mm -hmm. to National Guard uh, that were interested in, in states that were interested in. And that wasn't even seriously considered. It was just thrown out as so one of the, the possible So the National ideas. Guard could be deputized to right. undertake some sort of, not raid, but assistance with local law enforcement? Right, exactly. It's the kind of stuff that cops in all kinds of jurisdictions do now. And again, to emphasize, this was just a staff discussion paper, not anything that was considered at the White House level. Right. And the A, it's the AP that turned it into fake news. This really, there's a word for this. Fake news is a new term. The old term was yellow journalism. <laughs> okay. This was yellow journalism. Now, let me ask Ali. Um, there's a saying, elections have consequences. And President Trump, when he was the candidate, ran on a deportation force of some sort. We all know he wants to go after the bad hombres. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But if Donald Trump does start deporting people who cross the border illegally but have not committed any other crimes since then, is that going to be a huge problem? Well, I think what we saw in this this um, draft memo that was uh, leaked today and reported on by the Associated Press is that you know it's a summation of the Trump administration's executive orders over the last month. This, in essence, lays out how they may very well want to implement those three executive orders, whether it's the border wall, interior enforcement, or the travel ban. You know, the massive increase in border patrol, the massive expansion of enforcement authorities. Uh, this is the net result of yes, a campaign promise for uh, deportation force and the removal of 11 million people. Uh, and, you know, spending tens of billions of dollars over the course of time. I think that the backlash is going to be severe. I think the majority of Americans do not uh, want to see our country go, you know, have the National Guard go door to door. Um, and at the end of the day, even half of Trump's primary voters are opposed to his immigration uh, yeah, well, um, let me uh, Let me ask you this, Mark, because you're a pretty hardline immigration guy. If Trump just does the border wall and he does the sanctuary city defunding, and he goes after the bad hombres, the criminals and the cartel guys and the felons, and gets them out of there, but does not go after regular people that cross the border illegally or overstayed their visas but haven't committed a crime since. Is the base going to get extremely angry with that, yes or no? No, I don't think so, because the key issue here is not whether under this no return to normal immigration enforcement, they're going to go knocking people's doors down and say, hey, where's your green card? What happened under Obama is that they also went after the bad hombres, but they said in writing that regular illegal immigrants are immune from law enforcement. They, have, they, they will not have to face the consequences of their actions. What we're seeing now is a return to normal pre-Obama law enforcement where the priority is still the, be the worst actors, but that regular folks don't have some kind of pass if they're illegal immigrants. The analogy of what we saw under Obama was like the IRS saying, we're going to target money launderers and cartel people. That's job one for us. 
But if you're a regular person who just chooses not to pay your taxes, we're going to ignore you. That's what Obama said. That's what's changed now. We've gone back to a normal enforcement system. Yeah, and normal enforcement is enforcing the law of the land, Ali. I mean, if someone's not paying taxes or someone's living in a, in a trap house or someone's just drinking and driving or moving violations to get caught up with some small beef like that, you know, they have to face the consequences. I mean, that's well, not I, draconian, you know, I, right? I have to I, I, we are for completely in support of smart law enforcement, the smart prioritization of valuable law enforcement resources. And that means that those valuable law enforcement resources should be focusing on, quote, the bad hombres. We are completely in support of that. But that second executive order that the president yeah. signed expanded the enforcement priorities. So when Mark is saying a return to normal enforcement, what he is saying is that that second enforcement right. order leads to the mass deportation of uh, up to 8 million well, people. Well, I mean, I think that they've no they have here. normalized this so much where I was up in the Bronx the other day talking to a bunch of illegal immigrants and they don't really fear Trump raids at all. Guys, thank you very much.